So I hope you guys enjoyed the Altuve debut game. If you didn't see that, definitely check it out. What a surprise. It was another good one. Very tight up until the, the very end, too. So this game, there is another debut game, too. Lance McCullers, the player of the month, Lance McCullers, is making the debut in this one. So hoping I could get a good performance out of him so he can stay in the rotation. Although the rotation has been... Uh, very, very good over the past couple of, you know, weeks and stuff. Ever since I picked up Kluber and Scherzer, the rotation has been looking good. So hopefully McCullers can do all right joining, uh, this, this rotation that seems to be kind of crowded at the moment. I mean, it, it's almost to the point where Hershiser have to possibly take a seat. He may have to just chill out, just relax for a little bit, just chew the seeds in the dugout or something because it's looking like it's going to be a little bit too crowded, especially if uh, McCullers can do uh, quite well for the squad. So I was doing all right to begin this game. Got the first two guys coming to the plate swinging. So that is how you make an impact in your debut game. So now Victor Martinez is in and he is just flying out to left field. Brantley eventually makes the grab on that shift. So this guy is going down uh, fairly quickly in the top of the first inning. So Altuve, dude. Altuve wasn't able to get anything in the debut game. He was 0 for 4. I don't know, didn't really make any good swings with Altuve. That was pretty much the only player in the lineup that I didn't make a good swing with in that game. But, you know, you just need to get something with Altuve. He is leading off again in this game. Again, it was up to uh, either Brantley or Altuve to be in the leadoff spot. Maybe I will switch it up in the next game or next couple of games or something. Move Brantley back to the leadoff spot and then Altuve can uh, go in the number two spot or something. Because that's how I think it was in MLB 16 when I had Crawford leading off and then Altuve was batting second. And that was a deadly ass duo. So... Maybe I will go back to doing that. Not really sure if I, uh, you know, not guaranteeing I'm going to do that because Altuve does have that speed. Brantley definitely has that speed too in 90, uh, or Brantley has that speed in 80 speed, but we'll have to wait and see, man. Maybe Altuve can just go off one of these games. I feel like I should wait another game or two before I make that move maybe, but McCullers, man, was, I was making a, a good amount of good pitches in this game, which was kind of rare. Dude, over the past couple of games, I've been pitching like an idiot. Like, it's been bad. I've been hanging so many curveballs and just making so many bad mistakes pretty much. Right there, I'm getting away with another one. I think that was, what, a fastball pretty much right down Broadway. He isn't able to square that one up, so weak hit fly ball to Brantley in left field. And right here again, make another mistake. I, even though I did get the out, I forgot how many outs there were. I thought there was one down, but either way, I do get the out. Imagine if he like fucking jumped in the air, did a flip, and like matrix out of his way from getting out right there. That would have been hilarious, but I am able to get out of that inning. No damage done. So the squad is looking to uh, get off to a, a, a good start, man, because that game a couple games ago was just insane. I was hoping I could have another game like that every single game when you're getting 22 base hits a game. How can you complain about anything? But it wasn't it wasn't looking too good to begin this game. I mean, first first two innings going down fairly quickly. Wasn't able to get anything on the board. Went down when, when I say very quickly too, it was very quickly. Like I, I was swinging that everything in this game. Like I don't even know. It was just one of those games I couldn't be patient even if I tried. Like I was just sitting there saying I need to start taking some pitches and I wasn't even taking some pitches, but this guy is getting sneaky with it, and he is cashing in that run all the way from first base. That was actually like, that was, you know, that, that was actually quite sneaky what this guy did. I didn't even realize he was going home. T thought this guy was going to go to uh, second base and then froze. And then he eventually gets that run in. So definitely a good run to get for this guy. And now Griffey is in. There is only one down, so this is possibly a threat. Well, it is a threat. You know when the 99 Griffey is up, it is 100% a threat. So he is going down swinging at an ugly fastball. So if you guys didn't see, you saw who was behind the dish in this game. Luke Roy has been. He's been all right over the past couple of games. He's taken off for... There's a what? Safe! He's... Luke Roy! Luke, Luke Roy is a, a useless sack of dog shit. Look at this guy. He is an idiot. This, this guy is, the, look at this fucking guy. Look at the, look in the eyes of a loser. Look in the eyes of a fucking useless sack of shit. This guy misses the tag. What? 
I don't even know what to say about that, man. Like, that is a good reason to flip your shit. I mean, come on, dude. Like, what the fuck? How do you miss the tag? I mean, good God. Jesus, man, he misses the tag. Like, he didn't even miss the tag. He looked like an absolute idiot on that play. Like, you have got to be shitting me. So this guy is able to get another run in. He's, he technically did steal home. So, like, that didn't even go down as an error or anything. That was just Lucroy being a fucking loser. And you know what You know what the funny thing was? Was a couple innings after that happened, I took Lucroy out and put Victor Martinez in because I can't be dealing with an idiot. This is Exhibit A. If anyone is wondering why the hell I've been going off on Lucroy and saying he stinks and people don't know what I'm talking about, that is number one on the agenda, man. You don't need to look any further than that. That is unreal. But anyway, I can't be going on about this fucking guy any longer. I'll be getting, you know, my voice will fucking leave me yet again. So this guy is going up two runs in this game. Not too much of a big deal since it is, you know, still in the middle innings. It is the top of the fifth inning. The squad still doesn't have a base hit. So, I mean, it isn't late or anything yet, obviously, but still, you want to get something on the board around this time. You don't want to be going into the late innings with no, with a goose egg on the board, because then it's just like, all right, I need to get something, I need to get something on the board before my ass gets perfect gamed or something. <laughs> like, that's, that was the case, man. Like, I didn't want to go into the seventh, eighth inning with a goose egg, a donut on the board, and be thinking, oh, shit, this guy is going to perfect game my ass. So that's never happened before. I wasn't looking for that to happen in this game, but bottom half of the fifth inning, Griffey is, or that wasn't Griffey, that was uh, Eddie Matthews, wasn't able, who the fuck was that? I don't even know who the fuck that was, dude. I'm failing miserably right now, but whoever the shit that was flew out to center field. Now this is Griffey stepping up to the plate with two down. I mean, you would think Griffey could be the one to break the break the zero on the board, and he isn't able to. So that is six innings, or five innings gone. Still no base hit. So now we're in the bottom of the sixth inning. This guy went down very quick in the top half of the inning. I mean, this would have been a base hit if not for the shift. It got by his first baseman, but Cano over there at second base is able to make the play. So still... No base hits on the board, and then Lou Brock is... I'm swinging at an ugly one with Lou Brock up at the plate. And that's just, that, That's how you know you're not having a good day, man. When you're swinging at bad pitches like that, late swings and stuff, you weren't, wasn't really having a good game in this one, but who knows, man. You can just break out of that at any given time in this game. So still, man, no, nothing has really been done since those shenanigans went down and whatever inning that was, the third inning or so, whenever Luke Roy just absolutely folded. So this guy is still looking to get some insurance on the board. I'm just looking to get one base hit so far in this game because this hasn't happened in... Actually, this hasn't even happened at all. Usually the squad will start to get going around like the third or fourth inning. I haven't even played a game. I don't remember where it took me to run the seventh inning to get on the board via the hit column. So, I mean, this is... You know, around this time it's like, shit, is this going to be the game? Is this going to be the game when history is made and my ass gets perfect game or something? Like, you know what I mean? This guy would probably be jumping for joy. If he, if, if anyone perfect gamed anyone, they'd be jumping for joy for the most part. So Altuve is leading off this inning, and I don't even know what the hell. <laughs> this guy is making an error. That was obviously an error, so that isn't going down as a base hit. Next guy coming to the plate is Brantley. He hits a weak chopper to first base. Beat it, Brantley! He does beat it, and that's the first base hit of the game. That's how you have to get it in a game like this. You have to get ugly ones, man. You have to get ugly base hits on the board at certain times, and that was definitely one of them, so still. One base hit so far, so that maybe can open the floodgates. You would think it would, but it doesn't. Eddie Matthews just flies out to left field to end this inning. Wasn't able to get that run in from third base. So, I mean, it is the top of the eighth inning. I am running out of time. I, I need to get something going quick. The offense wasn't... I was making a lot of good swings in this game. It's not like I was only making bad swings. I was making a lot of good swings in this game. Just wasn't able to really find the hole, find the gap, find any outfield grass or turf, I guess I should say, in Toronto. But still, it needs to be done late in this game. This guy isn't able to get uh, anything in the top of the eighth inning. So, let's go hit boys. Let's go do something. Nothing has happened in this game, so Victor, Victor, you came in for the biggest sack of shit on planet Earth. So prove, 
to that master that you can do something and he will be planted on the bench permanently again. Victor connects with one. It's looking like it's going to leave the yard and it does. So this is okay, man. This is exactly when the squad needs to get something going. Victor Martinez gets the solo shot to begin this inning. So maybe I could get a little bit of a rally going shot from Victor so let's do this Let, let's go man let's get something going Lou Brock finds the left center gap and that is a triple so one one base hit can tie up this game Kenny Lofton is in off the bench which would be somebody I would want in a situation like this but not able to get a base hit weak ground ball to the first baseman he gets out of that inning still with the lead so this guy was able to get uh, the leadoff guy on, so Russell Martin is in. I mean, Miller was in this game at this point in time. I'm not even really sure why. I mean, even when I use Miller against Wright, I find, honest to God, man, I'm not even joking. Over the past couple of games, I find that Miller has been more useful against righties. Honestly, I feel like when I've been using Miller against lefties, they've been going to town on me. But when I've been using Miller against righties, I've been doing way better. So Altuve in his, what, fourth at bat of this game isn't able to get on the board again. So what, 0 for 8 so far for Altuve's first uh, two games? I mean, th that's, that's not terrible or anything, but you would think Altuve would have gotten on the board before that. But Brantley, dude, Brantley is getting the squad going again. And then Eddie Matthews is getting intentionally walked. So Brantley did advance all the way to third base. There is two down. So, Fred McGriff, I've been saying it. This is one of the number one guys in the lineup I need some production from. He hasn't really got much going offensively. Actually, that's not true. He hasn't really gotten much going offensively when it comes to home runs. But I have got a good amount of base hits with him so far. We are in the bottom of the ninth inning with two down. Is anybody surprised? I mean, there's a pass ball right there. Brandley with that speed is able to score. What is... Dude... Every single game I play is down to the wire. So one base hit, one base hit away from walking away with the W. I, it was looking like I was going to get my ass perfect gamed. And then I am in, I'm in a situation right now where I could get a W. So McGriff is able to send one up the gut. Eddie Matthews doesn't have that good speed though. So he had Griffey in center field. You can't test it. You can't. That would have been dumb. It wouldn't have been a good choice to do that. And then Griffey is up for myself. And he is just hitting a weak fly ball to third base. So no runs scored other than the tying run. So now we are going into extras. Oh my god, dude. Like extra innings, dude. It's like crazy. It's like these games are so fucking tense and all this shit all the way through the nine innings. And then once you get to extra innings, it's just like holy shit. This needs to end. So this guy tries to get on base. Uh, trying to bunt something down the third baseline on that shift, but wasn't able to. Thank God, how funny would that have been if this guy was able to get the leadoff uh, runner on and then get the, the go-ahead run in from a leadoff bunt. So Victor Martinez was the one who kind of got the squad going, trying to send something opposite field and walk it off. It was fairly deep, not even making it to the warning track, though, so still, still fairly hit. Lou Brock got the triple in the last at-bat. I mean, Lou Brock has been... I think Lou Brock is hitting well over 400 since he has joined the squad, and this is why. Every single game he plays, it's multi-hit games. So come on, Altuve, man. He's 0 for 8. 0 for 8 since Altuve has joined the squad. You got that speed on second base, so really not that much needs to be done. All Altuve needs to do is just send something to uh, just, just find a hole. That's it. That is the only thing that needs to happen in this situation. Doesn't even it can be a missile, it can be a missile up the gut right at somebody in the outfield, and it will most likely get that run in. So Altuve swinging and missing at an ugly one right there. He's trying to go to the slide step. Altuve is sending one down the left field line. That lands. The winning run scores. Altuve delivers in the second game. Didn't get much going in the debut game or the first four bats of this game, but Altuve comes through when he needs to. So definitely some clutch hitting late in this game from the squad. I walk away with the W. Wow. Like, honestly, that game was just craziness from the start to end. I mean, Luke Roy making that fucking... The dumbest play I think I've seen in this game to date was that. No joke. And then, I I don't know, this craziness did occur. I did get a good amount of base hits after, what, like the seventh inning or something. So the squad did heat up around then. 
But that's pretty much all she wrote for this video, guys. Hopefully, you, uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up. 